What's up party people, Android Stud here, and I have the Pocophone F1, and I wanted to talk about the full screen gestures on this bad boy. It's one of the great features that Xiaomi has, and I think they do it and execute it a lot better than Apple or Google's Pixel or the Essential Phone on Android Pie. I just think the gestures on Xiaomi's phones, especially the Pocophone F1, are very simple but they're powerful. And I'll show you what I mean. Like right now, it has full screen gestures. So it's pretty simple. If I go into the Twitter and I go into a tweet, oh, it went into YouTube, sorry about that. But you see how I can gesture back with my finger like that? And then if I go in, let me, let me go back into the Twitter land, right? And let's check out Technically T's tweet, right? He says, new 10S Max is in, all is well with zero issues a-ok -okay is what he says right and let's say i want to go back to the timeline i go like that if i want to go back up i just gesture up and then i'm good to go now if i want to go to my recent apps i just swipe up hold down and there's all my recent apps right there and then you're good to go now let me show you how you set that up it's pretty easy you go into settings you go to full screen display right there and you see you have two options you could do buttons or you could do full screen gestures you can also hide, hide screen notch if you want but we're not going to get into that right now so let's go back to the buttons you see the little buttons there on the bottom so if you're in the let's say you're in the twitter land you know you pretty much got your back home recents so if you hit your recents you know you're going to get them all right there and then you check that out, right? So it's very simple, very powerful uh, way of navigation uh, with the buttons. But if you want that whole full screen, get rid of those buttons, you simply go into settings, full screen display, and you choose that. And the cool thing, when you choose this, it gives you like a little tutorial, right? So you say, hey, all right, I wanna learn them gestures. So you can format these actions using gestures, go to home screen, open recents, go back, right? So you hit that button, that learn button, boom, right? And now it's telling you, it's teaching you. It says swipe up, little buddy. Swipe up, boom, you go to home, right? Now it's telling you to swipe up and pause so you can get your recents. Swipe up, pause, got my recents, nice, right? And then you're gonna swipe from the, from the right edge, boom, so you can go back. You can swipe from the left edge so you can go back. Boom. You're ready to rock and roll, right? I'm done. So you simply swipe up. I'm trying to swipe. Okay, you're going to swipe back because I'm in, I'm in one app. I'm in the settings and menu. So let's say you're in the Twitter land, right? And you want to, oh man, I got to go back to the tube. Hold down. Go back to the tube. You're good to go, right? Hold, hold, hold up again. Go up on the uh, oh, YouTube's playing there. Swipe up. And it's just and it works really well. It works a lot better than the Essential Phone or the Pixel Phones as far as the gestures going. Now, if you want to do split screen, it's real simple. You see that split screen right there? You simply tap it. You drag whatever app you want into that, right? Then you choose your next app, which will be Twitter. So now I'm doing split screen with YouTube and with my Twitter. So I can watch a YouTube video and then tweet out about what I'm watching, which is kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? And now if you want to get rid of it, you just go like that. And then you're going to see a little exit right there. And you just tap it. And you're out. You're back to your full screen. You can hold, go back to your thing. Or, and if you want to get rid of all your apps, you just hit that X and they're all gone. And then you're back to having one recent app right there, as you can see. So it's pretty cool, man. I like the full screen gestures. Real easy to get to. Settings, full screen display. Where's it at? Right there. Full screen gestures and you're good to go. It's a really simple navigation system 
that I think Google and Apple have tried to do a good job with it, but they just haven't done it as well, I think, as Xiaomi. It's just real easy, man, because sometimes when you just coop, coop, and it's quick, man. Like, you're, you can navigate fast as hell, bro. I mean, if you're in... Like sometimes I'm so fast and then when I go another phone, I think I'm still in the gesture base, but I'm not, I'm out of there. But that's it, man. That's the full screen gestures on the Pocophone F1. Check that out. Leave a comment down below if you got any questions about the Pocophone or about using these full screen gestures. But I'll tell you right now, man, I think it's phenomenal. I think it's one of, I think it's one of the best out there right now. So check it out, man. Get into it. Get that full screen gestures going, get your split screen going, and then you'll be good to go. If you got any more questions, like I said, down in the comments or hit me on Twitter at Android Stud, also on Instagram. This is the Pocophone F1 full screen gestures. I'm out of here. Peace.